The Charlotte Knights score three times in the bottom of the eighth and steal away a win from the Bulls on Saturday night at Truist Field, 5-3. to three. And This is Durham Bulls Daily. I'm Patrick Keenis, broadcaster for the Bulls, and this is where our Bulls fans know where to go to get their recaps, their highlights, and their nuggets about Durham Bulls baseball the morning after every Durham Bulls game. We would love for you to subscribe. You can do that on Apple and on Spotify, and you can subscribe and watch these also on our YouTube channel, Durham Bulls TV. My voice is barely holding up, so bear with us. Bulls fall 5-3 to the Knights on Saturday. Interesting game. Weather was a concern all throughout the contest, but we got through unscathed. Durham took a 1-0 lead in the top of the first inning. Two batters in. Cameron Meisner tripled to open the game on some miscommunication by the two outfielders out in right center field for Charlotte. It fell in between each of them, and then an RBI single by Brandon Lau three pitches later would score him, and the Bulls gave Mason Montgomery a 1-0 lead. It was an uneven night for Montgomery. Battled hard, couldn't command really either his fastball or his slider. In over four innings of work, he used 91 pitches. He walked six, allowed four hits, but only two runs. He stranded the bases loaded twice. Nine total base runners were left on in his four innings alone, but when he finished that fourth inning, he had a 3-2 to two lead. Durham had scored a couple of runs at the top of the fourth, both with two outs and nobody on. Ruben Cardenas and Yu Chang, who seemingly do everything back-to-back. They've hit a pair of back-to-back home runs earlier this year for the Bulls. They go back-to-back with doubles with two outs in the fourth inning to give the Bulls the lead. And then Jake Mangum slapped a base hit at the left field line. That would score Chang and make it 3-1. to one. So after Montgomery completed his four innings with the Bulls leading 3-2, to two, the bullpen was in pretty good shape for the Bulls. Antonio Jimenez came on for two hitless innings. Emmanuel Mejia got the bottom of the seventh. He was able to guard that 3-2 to two lead and got through the seventh inning. But Mejia came back out for the bottom of the eighth, and that's where the Knights took control. First pitch of the inning was single to center by Taishi Nakawake. One out later, Wilmer Defoe tied the game with a base hit, and it was 3-3 with one out in the eighth inning. And then Oscar Colas working a long count against Mejia. Everything was away. The count went to 3-2, and then Colas untied the game with one swing. We'll see what they do with Defoe here. Three balls, two strikes. More on the lead. He's past the cut. He's leaning, and there he goes. The pitch, knocked to right center field. This is a gapper heading back to the wall, and this ball's gone. Two rows in. Oscar Colas on a 3-2 pitch. Hammers a two-run homer to right center. Knights lead the Bulls 5-3 in the eighth. That was Colossus' fifth home run of the season. That capped a three-run eighth and then put the Bulls behind the eight ball going to the ninth inning, trailing 5-3. to three. Justin Anderson, who saved up a win earlier in the series against the Bulls, came in for the ninth inning, retired the side in order, and the Knights beat the Bulls 5-3. So Charlotte leads the series three games to two. Only Sunday's finale remains. That's a 105 first pitch. Carlos Garcia is expected to open that game for the Bulls. Patrick Wicklander will make his second appearance for Durham after Garcia is out and is done. And Johan Dominguez, who faced the Bulls back on Tuesday, he will start once again for Charlotte. So the Bulls fall 5-3 to three to the Charlotte Knights. Brandon Lau did play the entire game as he resumed his Major League rehab for the Rays. Lau was 1-4 for four with that RBI single in the first inning. Made one very good catch over the shoulder on a pop-up in shallow center field early in the game. Cardenas reached a couple of times, hit it well, a double, and then he killed a ground ball into a double play in the very first inning. Yu Chang had the RBI double and scored a run. He finished one for four. And Cameron Meisner again reached twice for the Bulls, first inning triple, fifth inning walk. Charlotte in the game would strand 12. It looked like that might lead to their demise, but three runs in the bottom of the eighth against Mejia lifts the Knights past the Bulls 5-3. to three. Once again, subscribe, please, on Apple and on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. And you can also subscribe on our YouTube channel, Durham Bulls TV. Once again, Charlotte over the Bulls 5-3 to three on Saturday night, series finale Sunday at 1.05. I'm Patrick Keenis for Durham Bulls Daily.